Now let's talk about the component of IoT. Uh, component in the sense, uh, the in the physical uh, layer or a very bottom layer of IoT. I told you, it is nothing but wireless sensor network where we have the sensors, and these sensors are used to generate the data. And uh, these sensors are attached to the microcontroller or microprocessor. And uh, there are actuator also, which will uh, do uh, give the movement to those objects. So let's talk about these sensors and the actuator, in these two facts. So what is a sensor? So sensor is a device that detects and responds to some input, some type of input from the physical environment. The specific input could be light, heat, motion, moisture, pressure, or any one of the greater number of other environment phenomena. Sensors are sophisticated devices that are frequently used to detect and respond to electrical and optimal signals. Sensor convert the physical parameter, for example, temperature, blood pressure, humidity, speed into the signal which can be measured electrically. So these sensors are nothing but uh, a device that uh, that is that is there and uh, there are different type of sensors available. So and these uh, sensors will convert the physical parameter or physical phenomena or anal uh, analog uh, phenomena into the digital form. And uh, they will help us to measure those, those uh, parameters. Like if we are talking about temperature, so it will uh, give the value in degree Celsius or degree Fahrenheit. Or if we have blood pressure, it will uh, tell that what is the blood pressure of your body. If we talk about humidity sensor, it will tell you the level of humidity. In, the, in terms of percentage. We'll talk about speed. It will tell you that what is the motion or what is the pace of any object. So the sensor will help to, is, is really a very uh, important part when we talk about wireless sensor network or the physical part of the IoT, where uh, actual sensors are attached to the thing or to the object. And uh, they used to generate a uh, different sort of uh, data based on what type of sensors they are, right? Then we have uh, the actuator. So as I told you, for the for giving the motion uh, to the object or to the thing, we need the actuator. So an actuator is a component of a machine that is responsible for moving and controlling a. Uh, a mechanism or system, for example, by opening a wall. In simple term, it is a mover. Okay, it gives the movement. For actuator, uh, an actuator requires a control signal and a source of energy. So here also, for the sensors also, we need to provide the energy so that it will work. The sensor could work. Without the energy, it will also can't move. Up. In the same way, actuator also will give the, uh, the source of energy. Second, actuator, we need to give the signal, right? But from the sensors, we have to get the data, right? We have to get the data. So uh, um, there is, you can say the actuator is requiring the source of energy as an input and uh, the control signal as an input. So both it required as an input. But in a sensor, uh, the, the input is the source of energy. We have to give the energy to the sensor. But what it will give us, it will give us back the, the data. So there is a difference between sensors and actuator. An actuator is a type of motor that is responsible for moving or controlling a machine or system. It is operated by a source of energy, typically electric, uh, current, hydraulic fluid pressure, and convert 
that energy into motion so either the actuator will be uh, will be working uh, with the electrically electrical current or hydraulic fluid pressure whatever it is but ultimately the responsibility of the actuator is to provide the motion to the object okay so that is the responsibility of the actuator So these are some of the sensors. Okay, as you can see here, these are the example of the sensor, and uh, these sensors are having different different uh, work to do. So let's say if we talk about uh, ultrasonic sensor. Okay, so the ultrasonic sensor will tell us the distance uh, distance of the object. So what is the distance of the object uh, which is in front of the ultrasonic sensor? There is a smoke sensor which will tell me that there is a smoke or not, right? There is a human body sensor, it is just like a motion sensor, it will tell us that is there any motion going on. Then there is a uh, DHT sensor, digital humidity and temperature sensor which will tell us the humidity and the temperature of the object where it is attached. Then there is a sound sensor. Uh, clock is there. This is, is giving us the uh, clock reading. Leisure head. Flame sensor is there. Mm -hmm. Photo sensor, vibration sensor, infra, uh, infrared. Uh, so this is the IR one. There is a soil sensor, rain drop. There are tilt sensor, right? There are various types of sensors available. And um, uh, you can procure these all these uh, sensors very easily. Then there is an actuator. As I told you that there are different motors, servo motor. it is called servo motors. In this, we have different uh, motions like this will give this type of uh, actuator will give me the circular motion and this type of actuator will give me the linear motion. Then we have the relay node. Relay node is for the electrical, uh, sorry, electronic appliances, which will uh, uh, make it on and off, right? So these electrical appliances or electronic appliances, we can make it on and off by giving the signal by using this actuator. So ultimately, all these uh, are the example of actuator that will be useful for giving the motion to the Uh, to any object. Okay. Then we have various type of microcontroller, IoT. This is an uh, example of uh, different uh, microcontroller, like right? this is ra Raspberry Pi, uh, this is Node MCU, this is Adreno Uno, this is uh, AMD, AMD microcontroller. So we have different type of microcontroller that we can use in the IoT infrastructure to building the IoT infrastructure. So that thing uh, in, in physically we'll see uh, when we learn about uh, how we'll make the physical infrastructure of the IoT at that particular time, we'll see all those things in, in detail. 